Hi, I'm James Bailey, Managing Director of Transmill Limited. We're here today to introduce to you our latest product, our eight digit digital multimeter, the 8081. A short comparison of the specifications of our multimeter versus the other long scale multimeters on the market show that where we really differ is in the current ranges and functions we're able to offer. Selecting DC current, we have a large number of ranges going right down to 10 nanoamps, right through to 30 amps. For a high value resistance, we can select the two wire ohm ranges, and again here, we have an electrometer mode input for values above 10 mega ohms. First of all, select the test voltage required. In this case, I'm going to select 100 volts. And then we get, for even a value of 1 g ohm, a noise level down here in the 2 to 3 k ohm region which for any long scale DMM is quite incredible. But even more so, this DVM will measure right up in terms of resistance value to one T ohm. I'm just increasing the resistance value on the input to 85 G ohms. And again, we have a really steady reading for that kind of value of resistance from a multimeter. In addition to the straight measurement functions, the 8081 also has several calculated measurement functions. Uh, these will include from the user menu, PRT, which can be from a single or a dual probe, and can, conversion can be to ITS-90 or IEC tables. We can do pressure, from a range of pressure transducers, cover a wide range of pressure and a wide range of units. We can do thermocouple voltage conversion, which again, we can select different types of thermocouples and also automatic cold junction compensation by measuring the temperature on the rear panel input. Shunt measurements and DC power measurements. From the outset, the 8000 series DMM has been designed to be easy to use. This is to save both time and effort from the metrologist. We have many key functions, including null and range, directly accessible from the keypad. We also have a dual display system uh, with the measurement display this side, and the second, showing the measurement parameters associated with the measurement that's currently being made. Uh, the spin knob can scroll you through the parameter settings menu. Now, this includes range, number of digits, the filter time, the mass or any null functions that are engaged at that moment, an analog filter, whether it's selected, front or rear panel terminals, a ratio mode, the min max of a set of readings, most importantly and of interest to the metrologist particularly is a dynamic accuracy calculation, a dynamic uncertainty calculation and a standard deviation. Also we have trigger options, guarding options and even the internal temperature of the multimeter. All readily displayable on the user parameter display. PC interface is simplified on the 8081 by giving the user a choice of four PC interfaces. We have the GPIB, a serial, a USB and a LAN interface. In a comparison of performance between two multimeters, the uh, latest 8081 uh, and uh, another popular multimeter on measuring a one ohm resistance. Here we see uh, the noise on this one representing in the order of 100 plus microohms of noise. Remember the last digit here on this one. Now swapping over the resistor, 
Now we have one micron resolution here and we can see our noise floor is just one or two microns. So there's a dramatic difference in the performance of the modern technology here used in the 8081 giving you micron level measurement capability to the older technologies used in previous multimeters. Now performing a similar test at the high end of the resistance measurement range at 1 G ohm, uh, we're going to compare also the noise of the modern technology of the 8081 versus another popular DMN. You can see here I have a 1 G ohm connected to the input and we're seeing just uh, maybe a couple of K ohms peak to peak noise in the last digit. Really quite impressive for this kind of measurement. Having seen and evaluated the noise performance of the 8081, I'm going to take the 1G ohm uh, standard resistor from these inputs to the other multimeter. Remember, on this multimeter, the highest reading obtainable is 1G ohm, whereas on the 8081, you can go right up to 1T ohm. Uh, but here we have rather a lot of digits coming up, but stability is only really being achieved in this digit here, uh, which is in fact 100 K ohms. Uh, so comparing the 8081 to the older technology multimeter, we can see that there is a, a vast difference in noise performance between the two multimeters. The addition of the 8500 10-channel low thermal scanner upgrades the DVM into a complete measurement system. Ideal for scanning around voltage references, standard resistors, PRT probes, etc. The whole thing can then be computer automated to make a completely automated measurement system. In summary, when comparing the 8081 with other competitive digital multimeters, we hope you will see that the extended measurement functions the user-friendly status display, together with the calculated functions such as uh, dynamic accuracy and uncertainties, plus the uh, additional measurement functions of thermocouples, PRTs, put the 8081 in a class of its own. So, if you're looking for a new multimeter and you need to measure high ohms, high current, low ohms or low current, that the 8081 is almost the only choice in modern multimeter technology today.